Hello lovelies! As you guys know, I am committed to making your mornings run a little more smoothly each day. And the best way to do that, I think, is with breakfast smoothies. So today I've got five new smoothie ideas that I think you are going to love. And let's be honest, they're all inspired by the color of sunshine. We're gonna kick things off with what I'm calling my just peachy smoothie. And of course, this involves a whole lot of peaches. Now, peaches can be hard to find out of season, but not to worry, frozen peaches are perfect in this recipe. What I actually love about using frozen fruit in smoothies is that you end up with a much creamier texture and you don't have to add any ice to chill it. So it does double duty. To that, we are going to add some yogurt. I'm using plain yogurt in this recipe because I don't wanna add any additional sugar, but if you wanted to use vanilla flavored yogurt, that would work really well. I'm also going to be adding a scoop of vanilla flavored protein powder. That's actually where most of the sweetness in this smoothie is going to come from. Finally, I'll top this all off with some unsweetened almond milk and give it a good blend. Keep in mind, because we are using frozen peaches, your blender may need to work a little harder than usual to get through them. Not to worry, just exercise patience, and in a minute or so, you will have a just peachy smoothie. This smoothie almost tastes so much like ice cream that it's hard to believe it's good for you. True story. Our next smoothie combines all of the most amazing tastes of the tropics, for the liquid in my smoothie, I'm actually using a combination of unsweetened almond milk with a splash of coconut milk. Coconut milk obviously has amazing flavor, but it can be slightly higher in fat and calories, so I like to mix the two. It makes for a perfect combination, I think. To that, I'm adding a whole lot of beautiful tropical fruit. I've got some pineapple going in here, some papaya, as well as some mango. You can use frozen if you wanted to. Today, I'm using fresh, because that's what I had on hand. I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of honey for sweetness, get the lid on my blender, and give it all a good buzz. The tangy tropical flavors in this drink remind me of being on vacation, which, you know, if you're headed to work, is sometimes not a bad thing. Next, for something a little different, we are making a sweet potato smoothie. Now, this is the perfect smoothie to make if you have leftover sweet potatoes hanging out from dinner. They can either be roasted or steamed as long as they're nice and soft. You can get them right into your blender. For this smoothie, I'm going to be adding a banana, some maple syrup, a little sprinkle of cinnamon for some lovely spice, and finishing it off with some almond milk. Now you can always use unsweetened here, or opt for some vanilla flavored almond milk, which will also be really complimentary. We'll give that all a good blend, and you have breakfast ready to rock. Now for those of you who are skeptical about putting sweet potato in a smoothie, this recipe is going to make you a believer. Plus, it is a great way to breathe new life into your leftovers. Our next smoothie is inspired by the incredible flavor of an orange creamsicle, which is one of my all-time favorite frozen desserts. But this version is just slightly healthier. To our blender, we are going to add some oranges. So I've used one navel orange that I've peeled and just chopped up and getting it right into my blender. To that, I am going to add some vanilla-flavored yogurt as well as some vanilla-flavored protein powder. Then I'm going to pour over some OJ and give this all a blitz. Now, if you don't wanna use orange juice in this smoothie, that's totally fine. You could also use some almond milk or even some ice cubes if you want that nice frosty texture. But no matter what you use, the sweet, citrusy, creamy flavor of this smoothie is going to make it a fan favorite in your house. I guarantee it. Finally, for another great dessert-inspired smoothie, I am making a banana cream pie smoothie. I love banana cream pie, and blending it all up for breakfast, you just know is a good idea. In this recipe, I'm going to be using two bananas. You can opt for one here, but because we're going for maximum banana flavor, two just feels right. To that, I'm adding some yogurt. I'm using plain yogurt here, but vanilla yogurt is also a great option. And I'm also going to be adding some vanilla protein powder. And for a little added nutrition, I'm going to sprinkle in some hemp parts. For my liquid in this smoothie, I'm using unsweetened almond milk once again, but of course, any type of milk will do. We'll get our lid on the blender, give this a whirl, pour it into our glass, and there you go, guys. Creamy banana goodness and a pie-effect way to start your day. 
I hope you'll give all five of these sunny ideas a try. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo because I always love seeing your kitchen creations. Keep in mind, I'll be back with more smoothie recipes in the next few weeks. So if you have any good ideas you wanna share on the channel, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I always love hearing from you. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more smoothie deliciousness where this came from.